Well, hello everyone. I'm Dr. Roy View to the Lifestyle Coach. Today we're going to be talking about gratitude journaling. So one of the great, great ways of reducing your stress is to keep a gratitude journal. And a lot of people are stressed in this day and age, and it's probably one of the key, key causes of subluxation is stress levels that are too high. And one of the really good ways is to keep this gratitude journal. Now, our thoughts and our neurons and the way they fire in our brain they they work together. So the more that we think a certain way, the more that our um, brain is going to form that pathway. You think kind of like um, train tracks, right? A train can't go off a train track because that's what happens to your thoughts. Your thoughts become train tracks, which means it's very hard to derail your thoughts. Now, have you ever met one of those people that are in their 50s that are just like so mega? It doesn't matter what you say to them. They could you know, win a million dollars and they'll just be bitching and moaning about all the people that are going to come chasing after their money. doesn't matter what possibly happens to them, they're going to feel like something is bad. That's because they've thought negatively for such a long time that to think outside that is really, really hard. You've literally got to derail the train to make it happen. So what the Gratitude Journal is designed to do is to help you derail the train and form a new track for your train to roll off to. So the way it works is you get a journal, something that you like to write in, you know, a nice leather-bound journal, something that is very appreciative for you, something that you can look at and you like. Second thing you need to do is that you need to write down three things at the end of every day, which then takes about five minutes, three things that you're grateful for that happened that day. They can be really, really big things like, you know, you, you won a new car, or they could be little things like you put your knickers on straight out of the dryer, and they felt fantastic. So it doesn't have to be massive, but you need three different things. And then each day you need to write down three different things. And they can't be the same as the day before. You don't want to just say, the weather was great, I got a new car, and my mum is awesome. The weather was great, I got a new car, and my mum is awesome. That's not how this works. You need to find new things every single day. And you need to write it down. Okay, so this only works if you do it every day, and it only works if you write it down. So what you need to do is make sure you write it down and at the end of every week to spend some time reviewing it and thinking about how each of those things made you feel. Remember that gratitude. Remember being thankful. Just keep being thankful and keep, keep being thankful. And what will happen is that if you do it for a minimum of 21 days in a row, your brain will literally start to rewire. And the longer you do it, the better and more, um, uh, more convincing and the more powerful this tool is because your brain will rewire more effectively. And what will happen is, is that during the day, even though negative stuff will happen, you will be looking for what you're going to write down in your journal. So instead of looking for the negative things, you will still see them. You won't, you won't necessarily acknowledge them or you won't dwell on them because you're too busy looking for what you're going to write down. That it, it changes how your brain works. But remember, you've got to write it down and you've got to do it every day if you want this to work. So give it a go. That's how you keep a gratitude journal and it can really go a long way into reducing your stress. Have a great day, everyone.